Let's learn three crochet stitches that look like knit. Today we'll be exploring three crochet stitches that look very similar to a knit texture. I will be showing you each stitch from tightest to loosest texture. Let's get started. I'm using Lazy Day's medium weight yarn in a four millimeter hook today. The first stitch is slip stitch in the back loop only. You start with any number of chains and in the second chain from your hook. And to slip stitch, you insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull the second loop through the first loop on your hook. And it's that easy. You'll just keep continuing to do this to the end of the row. For row two, you'll chain one and turn your work. And this is the only tricky part, is finding the back loop. It can be a little confusing since the stitches are so close together. You're gonna flip it to the top and then find that back loop. It's really important for this technique that you work loosely. If your stitches are too tight, it's really difficult to get your hook into them. It's also difficult to see them. So work as loose as you can. Here's a swatch so you can see what it looks like finished. This one is probably the tightest and stretchiest of the three that I'm gonna talk about today. It's perfect for hats and beanies. The next one is yarn over slip stitch in the back loop only. Start with any number of chains and in the second chain from your hook, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, pull that third loop through the first two loops and repeat. You're gonna keep doing this to the end of the row. Your finished row one should look something like this. For row two, we'll chain one and turn. And again, you'll wanna flip your work up to be able to find that back loop only. And we'll do the same, we'll yarn over, insert into back loop only, pull up a loop, pull through those first two loops. Here's a finished swatch. As you can see, it's a little bit looser than the last one. I love it for edging and ribbing. I have a ear warmer tutorial on my page if you'd like to try it. Next, we have single crochet in the back loop only. Start with any number of chains and in the second chain from hook. If you aren't familiar with single crochet, you'll insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops and repeat to the end of the row. To start row two, you'll chain one and turn, and we'll find the back loop only of that stitch by flipping up. Insert your hook into the back loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both loops, and repeat. Here's a finished swatch. I love this stitch for sweaters. It can make really great cuffs as well. I highly recommend it. It's super easy and simple. If you're already familiar with all three of these stitches, I also have a camel stitch tutorial right here that I think you'll love and is a little bit more advanced. I've got a ton of tutorials on my page. Be sure to check those out. And until next time, happy crocheting.